welcome back. Today's October 18th, 2017. Uh, it's a Wednesday and it's a beautiful day here on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, as I mentioned in my last episode, I have a major project that I want to get started on. I probably won't finish it this fall, but hopefully I'll finish it up in the spring. Or even in the winter, if there's a mild day, I may come down and do a little work on the boat. But anyway, what it is, is uh, I'm going to tear out all the freshwater hoses, all the potable water hoses. Uh, they've developed some leaks, particularly in the engine compartment. So that's all going to be torn out, and that's what I'm going to get started on today. Uh, I don't need the water. I'm in the marina, so I have access to the dock water, the dock electricity, so I can do without... Uh, pressurized water. As far as drinking water, I bring all my own bottled water here anyway, so that really doesn't matter. So I'm going to walk you through that. First thing is pull out all that hose. Uh, I might use some of the hose as a uh, as like a feeder line to pull in new hose, depending on how difficult it may be to get through some hidden areas. So I'll be doing that. And then after I get all the hoses out, <clears throat> or at least out of certain areas, I'm going to start cleaning those areas because they're down like Below the set T in the build, I'm going to clean those out, and I have some uh, white gloss latex uh, paint, so I'm going to be painting those areas. Uh, something hasn't been done for 30 years. It doesn't look super, super bad, but, uh, you know, there's some grime, so it's got to be really cleaned out. I got some heavy-duty uh, biodegradable cleaner, so I'll be cleaning as much grime out as I can, and then I'll start painting it. Uh, I will walk you through all that. And hopefully this will be a good uh, do-it-yourself project. As an aside note, um, I have a major project I'm planning for next spring. So I know this is going to be a, quite a bit to, uh, to get accomplished. But this project that I'm talking about now is probably the most important. And that is I'm replacing all the through hauls in the boat. I don't have a problem with them. I check them every spring. I, I work them. I close them before I leave the boat. But as some of you may be aware, there's a uh, there's a channel on YouTube video of a young couple who just purchased a, a, a not not a new boat, but another boat, a bigger boat than what they had. Uh, and they had high dreams. They were going to live on that boat. They've done this before. But they didn't own the boat that long, and it ended up sinking on a mooring. Uh, from what I can gather, it has something to do with the through holes. I don't know all the details. Uh, they don't. They didn't share it. It's their own business. But you know what? The the biggest reason a boat sinks is the through hole. Either a hose breaks off because a clamp fails, and then the through hole is left open, or maybe the through hole itself snaps off. So I don't know. I. Uh, I do check mine, uh, but again, they're over 30 years old. It, it's been on my list for eight years since I've owned this boat. But every year, like I say, I check them, I pull on them, I push on them, and they seem solid. Uh, but you know what? After seeing that lesson and the heartbreak that they went through, uh, I've just moved that up to the number one project for next spring. Okay? So anyway, let's get to it. Talk to you later. That's where the water water pump was, right back there. I couldn't hold the camera and hang upside down to get that out. And there's where the water pump is right now. Now the fun really begins. Let's see if I can get my body down here, which I don't think I can. Probably gonna be looking at the back of my head for most of today. Oh, how I wish I had an engine compartment that was able to be walked into. Lunchtime.
It's a beautiful day. 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Not a cloud in the sky. Where the hot water heater is, so I gotta close the valves, which I forgot to do, and then drain it out. Which I do even when I'm just winterizing the boat, so it's the end of the season anyway. So a lot of a lot of what I need to do would have been doing it anyway. This is the drain. Put that down in the bilge. Let that drain. hoses that I just loosened up, they go forward, come through here, then they go out through the, into the engine compartment, and then from here they go aft, underneath this area here, and then they pop up near the water heater. So this is basically a, a cold supply and two hot water returns, one to the galley sink and one to the head.
Well, that's it for today. Uh, I got a lot done. I mean, it's tedious, as some of you know, uh, working in tight spaces and uh, things don't always go the way you had planned. I ended up pulling all the hoses. There were three of them that came under the quarter berth. And it was hard just to get them out. So there's no way I was going to be able to connect one to another and then feed it back in. So I came up with a different route. The, uh, the cold water splitter is in the engine compartment right off the uh, uh, pressure pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back through the engine compartment and then come across the transom to get to the hot water heater. And I'm not going to run anything down through here. It's just going to be too difficult. Right at the very end where the liner starts to come up to the hull, there's only maybe three quarter inch to half inch gap and there's no question these hoses were put in before the liner was uh, glued down so there's there's no way to try to feed something through then I found that out when I was trying to run uh, a cable to uh, uh, what was I running it to to the GPS I believe and I ended up having to come out the side and then uh, fish it well I was able to fish them but I couldn't get under that little kink there so anyway that's it for day one tomorrow I'll uh, I've dried these areas because it got wet when I was pulling hoses apart but I'll dry this real good and I'll wash it real good and then I'll put a coat of paint in this area and then just work my way on the starboard side there's a couple of hoses that run through here up into the head area so I'll just go one compartment after another and work my way forward and once I get up to the tank, I'll just start working my way back here on the uh, port side to get to the sink and the pressure pump. So it's going to be um, several days worth of work. I may not even get all this done uh, this year. But I've kind of cleaned up the, uh, the cabin. It looked a lot worse. Most of the stuff is now outside, including all the old hose that I pulled out. So, we'll start again tomorrow morning early. Good morning, everyone. Well, today's day two, and I got another big day today. One thing that became obvious yesterday is this is going to take a little bit longer than what I realized. Uh, uh, I think by adding the painting to the process, uh, I have to get all the wires up and all the hoses out of the way, obviously. Uh, but it's not something I can go through and paint everything all at once, uh, which I kind of thought I wouldn't be able to, but there's just too much stuff on the boat, and I can't, I can't even fit it all out in the cockpit. So I'm going to be doing little sections at a time. I'm going to be here for several days, but even then, there's, uh, I'll be lucky to get this halfway done. So anyway, on to the work. Most of the area under the uh, settee in the quarter berth cleaned out, got all the hoses out, I tidied up all the wiring, and the hose that I'm not pulling out, I have that held up with string. Now this, this hose right here, these three go under the head, kind of goes under this area here, comes out down here and pops up right there so I gotta pull them out I was able to get the hoses pulled through and I also uh, pulled through this line with the last hose uh, they came through pretty easily so hopefully when I pull the new ones through uh, they'll go through pretty easily as well the area under the sink 
in the head. Uh, I'll have to enlarge a hole there. Uh, the, the hoses were pretty tight where it went through the, through the uh, bottom of the sink. So other than that, I think this should go pretty easily when I put the new hose in. Well, everything's cleaned out of the uh, bilge under the settee. So at least the starboard side is ready to be painted. So it's all dry. It's as clean as I can get it. I pulled the hoses all the way through to the head under the sink. So uh, I'll mix up some paint and get going. Good morning. Today is day three. Uh, I'm going to get started painting this morning. It's about 8.30. Uh, my plan was to start yesterday, but it was uh, mid-afternoon. And I decided I didn't want a lot of smell in the cabin uh, for overnight because I do sleep on the boat. So I decided I'll put that off. I rested yesterday afternoon, just kind of got some things ready to paint. And uh, so now I'm going to get started. So let's get to it. I'm just going to paint as far as I can reach. Not going to get crazy about it. If you can't see it, I'm not worried about it. Port side is done. Came out pretty good. Well, I got a lot done today. I, um, as I showed you, I did the starboard side uh, under the settee. I painted that. I also cleaned out the cockpit locker, scrubbed it down. And uh, I painted the cockpit locker too. There's uh, only one hose, and that's the hose for the uh, cockpit shower. Uh, I also winterized the engine today, so that's it for the sailing. I, I kind of knew that. And tomorrow, my last full day, I'm going to do the uh, port side here under the stove and under the port side settee. There's one hose that goes to my manual galley pump so I'm going to pull that out and I might get some painting done on the port side but uh, but that's about it but uh, right now it's um, time for dinner so I'm cooking up some veggies with a little bit of beef good morning everyone <clears throat> today's day number four uh, today is the last full day of work here on the boat uh, tomorrow I head home. Uh, I do have some things I want to get done tomorrow morning as well. But today, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to. There's one hose left under this port side set T. Uh, the water tank is here, and the, the hose comes from the bottom of the tank up to my manual hand pump. So that's the last one that has to come out. Uh, I'm going to clean these uh, bilge areas out and uh, get get a coat of paint on them today. Uh, then tomorrow will be primarily just getting the boat cleaned up. I want to take the sails down, the bimini down, the dodger down, and really get it ready to be on the hard. Uh, once it's on the hard, I'll come back in, whatever, two weeks, three weeks, and uh, I'll do the final winterization as far as the interior and also uh, cover, cover the boat with the tarp. 
So stay tuned. That's what's happening today. Thanks for watching. And with the magic of uh, video, it's all done. The forward area next to the water tank, where the uh, one of the hoses come out that goes directly to the hand pump, that's all done. The port side settee is done. And under the stove is done. Well, this is life aboard the boat right now. Pretty well torn up, but I got everything painted that I wanted to get painted. This is my one seat right now. Well, welcome back. As you can see, uh, things are looking a little better than what they were before. It's uh, the end of day four. Uh, I got everything painted that I wanted to get painted. I got all the uh, hose pulled out. So uh, I'm going to spend one more night. The port side is still drying so I can't put all that stuff away. Uh, tomorrow I'll be taking the sails down and that'll be it for the season and I'll head home tomorrow evening. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did appreciate a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber subscribe. Anyway Thanks again, and you have a great day. Rendering the video.